So what we have is a Velocity data logging kit. So let's take a look at what comes in the bag. We have actual data logger itself, plugs in OBD2 port. Have a cable, looks like a USB to a, a USB 5 pin and the instructions here. Uh, so looks like I gotta download um, a couple of drivers onto the laptop first. And so I'll go ahead and um, do that. We'll get back to um, the plugging this into the car um, and go from there. Okay, so this is the part where I'm gonna download. Here's the instructions for the data logger. I'm gonna download uh, these two programs here, load them onto the laptop. So uh, this is the item here um, that I got for the F-Pace project. So I'm going to hit the, the first URL is tiny URL here. I'm going to hit, hit enter and then just click over here and say download. And it's downloaded the file. Do the second one. It's the toolkit. Same thing. Download that. Now, if you get a little error, you can go ahead and click off to the side here and say you want to keep this because it, it doesn't know what you're trying to download. It's a unique file. So say keep. It says, are you sure? Say, yep, show more. Keep it anyway. And you'll have them both here. So now we'll go ahead and, and open each one of those up and launch them. Okay, so here's the two files. First one we're going to install is the open port. Double click on that, and we're going to go ahead and go through this process. Yes. And next, I agree. Next, install. Next, finish setup. Boom. That one's done. Then next we're going to do is the toolkit, same thing, say yes, I accept, next, I have a 64-bit system, most of you probably will, if not, select the one you want, on 64-bit, create a desktop shortcut, sure, next, install, this will come up, right here, Computing the spatial climber, so it's checking everything. Yeah, right, everything's good. Next, um, so I, I've already installed it once. I really don't need to do that. Um, I can go ahead and say, I'll just say repair it. I'll just go through and, and check all the files. Everything's good. Finish. And I can launch the toolkit. Go ahead and say finish. And here we are. It's going to launch the toolkit. So um, you have two options right here. This logger's or the open port. For the um, for the 2016 and newer, you're going to select this open port. And you can see it's not connected. So you can do all this um, inside your uh, house if you want. But the next part, we're going to have to take the laptop into the car and plug it in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually plug the device into the car. Okay, so I got my laptop fired up. And the instructions talk about uh, sending, when you first start it up, it says it's unlicensed. So I'll go ahead and plug this in and show you what that looks like. And plug this into the USB port over here. And we're gonna go ahead and launch the program. Toolkit. So when you get your file back, it'll be a, a small file, kind of looks like this. What you'll do is you'll go and open up your C drive, Velocity, the CGL toolkit, double click on that, and you'll just drag it into here. So I'll move it back out. 
and you'll see it's not in here, so it'll look just like this. And what you'll do is you'll drag it into here. Once it's in here, now it's licensed. And so now when you go ahead and launch the program again, it'll you won't have that error and it'll be licensed to you. And then the, when you're doing this on the first time in your laptop in the car, you'll have to be hooked up to the internet. So I suggest um, just being in your driveway, make sure online, or if you have um, a wired F-Pace, just connect to the Wi-Fi in there and it'll do any updates. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so went ahead and downloaded the drivers and stuff to my laptop. So go to the car and, and plug this in and follow the next steps. Um, I went ahead and sent off the information to get the, the license as well. But I'll show you ahead how we do that. And I also, this is a cable that comes with it. It's a um, two meter cable. Um, my, my laptop's USB-C. So I went ahead and ordered a three meter cable that also has a um, left 90 degree in it. So when this is plugged in to the car, rather than stick down, it kind of goes across so I can um, have room and also put this over on the um, passenger seat without any issues. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the car and take a look how that hooks up. Okay, so let's take this, go to the car and plug it in. Oh, set it up. Okay, hopefully you can see everything on my screen here. So I got the uh, data logger hooked up with the cable over here and got the other end right here. I'm gonna head and open up my laptop, get that fired up. Turn that on. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the WD port, which is underneath on the driver's side by the kick panel. And I'll uh, put a little video, a little insert, show you what that looks like. So the UBD port is underneath your steering wheel, just by the firewall here. This is the lever to open your hood. So there's your UBD port right there. So you're gonna plug into that connector. Okay, so I got the OBD uh, port plugged in to the OBD port, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, cable and I'm going to plug that into the laptop right here and then go ahead and launch the toolkit and if it doesn't already say open port it says for some reason it says this and make sure it says this here. We'll go ahead and say connect. And when you do that, you'll see up here it says connected. You see right now it's putting out about 13.2 volts. So now we're connected. And now you can go into you know uh, live logging, or if you want to start you know, data logging live, if you want to review a log, you want to look at certain things, maybe read the ECU, read DTCs. And right now, I have zero DTCs. Um, here's my information on my particular engine and the hardware and stuff like that. So if we go to live log, I'll turn this a little bit better, and zoom this in so you see exactly what it's gonna do. Go ahead and set live log. I'll go ahead and start logging everything. So as you can see, here's all the things that it's gonna start, start logging. And go ahead and Try to get this a little bit closer so as you can see here. So you got cam camshaft, cooling, engine, uh, engine power, engine system, exhaust systems, fuel systems. Uh, let's see what else we have down here. Ignition, uh, timing, intake system, supercharger, throttle position. So all this, and as you can see over here, it's starting to copy all of those and record them. So go for uh, a drive around the block and kind of do some different things. And it's, and it's instant too. So if, if I step on the gas, I'll kind of zoom in onto some stuff here. It, it's instantly changing numbers. I think it's uh, about 10 times a second it's recording stuff. So this is a great tool to be able to show any type of before and after results 
Uh, I'm going to take it out and get some manifold pressures, uh, boost pressures, uh, before and after, and kind of go from there. So, but let's say you've done your run and here's stuff we recorded, and you want to, you can either pause it, it'll stop, and you can hit and start again, or you can hit the space bar, same thing. You know, maybe you're ready to do a quarter mile run, just hit that uh, space bar to pause it, and it's going to stop. And you get ready to go, just hit it so it starts recording, done with your run, and you can pause it again. And when you're all done, you can hit stop. It says, you sure you want to stop? Yes. And so you can see it's it starts naming what everything is. And then I can cancel out of here. It's going to save this file. And now if I want to go back and review them, I can go back and look at the logs. So here's some logs. We can look at the one um, we just did, which is right here. Open this up. Review log. And now it's going to recreate everything that happened during that. And I can and look at, so okay, what's going on? How's it doing it? Um, so I want to speed up to a certain point, look at something specific. Maybe look at engine RPM and it'll kind of like single that out for me. So if I want to change the color, uh, make it something, you know, a little bit thicker so it really shows up as far as um, on there so I can really see where that's at. So it's a, a fun program. If anything, um, I'll be able to show you what's going on with your vehicle. Um, and if you're doing some ser any type of serious racing or really want to know what's going on, stuff that you've done, like here's catalytic temperatures and stuff, I highly recommend this. So um, that's it for this video. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I try to get to all of them. Until we see you next time, thanks.